Okay. Here it is. 6554. All right, and this is my take on the whole Obama uh, Trump box. Let's see. Um, starches. Starches are cheap. Most of my bread, a day old. Day old bread. This is the only fresh bread in here. Everything else, manager special. All right. Starches are cheap. I got these for the boy. These are uh, like little chocolate bear claw things. And a baguette. Chicken. Chicken breasts. Some fruits. Right there, these are uh, dried cranberries. Usually don't buy prepackaged stuff, but 287 for fresh raviolis. Stew meat. That was on sale, manager special. Um, Sargento, I got the name brand because it was on sale. Lunch and meat. Yet again, manager special. Gonna date out. Buck forty nine. And it's probably not a deal. You can probably get them for cheaper than that. On I've seen them ten for ten, but I kinda in a pinch. And then potatoes, celery, and the boys cereal. So here's my take. Seventy dollars. Now I hope and pray that'll get me through the week. So your uh, your trump box is there? Man, 70 bucks, that's three quarters of my day. That's pretty much almost one day's pay. And I pray I can get through the week with it. I overspent this week. So you don't like your Trump boxes? Send them over here, son. Because you know what? I could use it. I don't see what you're complaining about. Free food cook stop you know I was on food stamps once I'm not too proud to admit it I stayed away from for the most part you get in this trap where it's like free food so you end up getting you know pre-cooked stuff you end up hey you know what I haven't had a steak in a long time you end up getting steak or hey man lobsters if you watch what you buy, man, you should be you should be fine. I was think I was getting uh, I want to say it was two hundred a month for me and my son. And when I got off the pro program, I had so much money left on that card. I was on the program for a good six months, maybe a year, and I had something crazy like four hundred dollars left on the card because I didn't buy prepackaged crap. The only thing I bought was cereal for my son. It was the only thing that was probably the worst, the worst to buy as far as health food wise. You know, cook at home. Think of your grandmother. Your grandmother lived through a depression. They ate they ate whatever they could get their hands on. And they made good meals doing it. Get with the old folks. Teach yourself how to cook. Get with the old Italians, the old Portuguese, the old Jewish women. They all know how to cook. And they all know how to take nothing, nothing, and make a decent meal out of it. Shit, the best food I've ever had in my life was from an old poor black woman. Chitlins. I don't eat pork anymore, but I'll tell you one thing. Chitlins, when I ate pork, phenomenal. You know what? Get over it. Big deal. It's pig intestine. It's pig, uh, pig lung. I've had lung. Big deal. Heart. Big deal. It's good. It's protein. If it's cooked right, it's great. I think the most expensive thing I bought or buy is spices. Spices are expensive. You know what? You got a small garden plot. 
or you got a window in your apartment, get a window box. Grow some herbs. Cheap. Don't buy that crap if you don't need to. Salt, pepper, things like that. Things you can't grow. You know? Look into how our grandparents survived the Depression. You want to survive? You want to survive on half your EBT benefits? Then that's how you're going to do it. You got to do for yourself. Don't expect handouts. Have I taken them? Yes. I've swallowed my pride and I've taken them because I've had to. Because when you're hungry, you don't care. Okay? That's, that's my take on that. There's a lot of negativity. A lot of people complaining. But there's some people that pretty much are saying what I'm saying. It's budget. It's common sense. It's look at those old folks. Look at your grandparents. Look how they ate. If they're still around, God bless them, man. Have Grandma show you how to make things. Say, Grandma, you know, how, how'd, you, how'd you get through the Depression? How could you feed people on, you know, back then it'd be like a dime a day or whatnot. I don't know. But figure that out. I wish my grandparents were around to teach me how to cook. My grandparents used to forage. They'd, uh, they'd go and they'd get... You know, and, and pick apples at public parks when they were in uh, in season. Uh, fiddleheads, if you know what a fiddlehead is. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. Things in season. And they'd go pick it themselves. And they'd make preserves. And they'd make jams. And they'd make uh, juice. We'll say juice. My grandfather used to make some really good hard apple cider. But that's besides the point. They would process their own food. They would pick mushrooms. Um, yeah, it's getting towards the end of May. Morel mushrooms are one of the few mushrooms that you cannot, well, unless you're completely dumb and didn't look into it, you cannot poison yourself because morels are morels. There's not really, the false morel doesn't look like a morel. The false morel is the only poisonous uh, mushroom in that family. And they're delicious. But you get them for nothing if you know where to find them. Do some research. Take care of yourselves. And you know what? If you take care of yourself and I take care of myself and we come together, there's nothing that can stop us. That, that is how we're going to get through this. We're all going to come together. We're all going to teach each other our skills. And we're all going to say, hey, you know what? Eventually, we're not going to need the Trump boxes. We're not going to need the EBTs. Because we're all go we all have something, some skill or something we can put into the game. If we are willing to share. That's it. I'm done with my rant. Thank you.